Amélie is a 2001 romantic comedy directed by Jean-Pierre Jeunet. Written by Jeunet with Guillaume Lauren, the film is a whimsical depiction of the contemporary Parisian life set in Montmartre. Everything is extraordinary about this film. The colors, the shot, the acting and the happy life. Jeunet has always discovered the funny side in people. Even the villain in his films are haphazard and funny. Watching this film is like reading a comic book with exaggerating caricatures and vibrant colors. When I was watching this film for the first time, I remembered some Indian movies with this setup, color and wide-angle shots. Anurag Basu is no doubt influenced by the colors of the film and used this surrounding in his film Burfi. Even the lives of Burfi and Amelie are similar with their loneliness and weird parents. He continued this contrasting colors and dramatic shots in his later films Jagajasus and Ludo. Though the storylines are completely different, the love for colors of Basu cannot be ignored. Let us now dive into the magical yet simple world of Amelie through this presentation. Amelie is a delicious pastry of a movie, a light-hearted fantasy in which a winsome heroine overcomes a sad childhood and grows up to bring cheer to the needful and joy to herself. You see it and later when you think about it, you smile. Andre Tuto, a fresh-faced whiff who looks like she knows a secret and cannot keep it, plays the title role. As a little girl who grows up starving for affection, her father, a doctor, gives her no hug or kisses and touches her only during checkup, which makes her heart beat so fast he thinks she is sickly. Her mother dies as a result of a successful suicide leap of the Towers of Notre Dame, a statement which reveals less of the flaw than you think it does. Amelie grows up lonely and alone as a waitress in the corner bistro, until one day, the death of Princess Diana changes everything. Yes, the shock of the news causes Amelie to drop a bottle cap, which jerks loose a stone in the wall of her flat, which leads her to discover a rusty old box in which a long ago boy hoarded his treasures. And in tracking down the man who was that boy and returning his box, Amelie find her life's work. She will make people happy, but not in any old way. So she will amuse herself and us by devising the most extraordinary stratagems for bringing about their happiness. Amelie secretly executes complex schemes that affect the life of those around her. She escorts a blind man to the metro station, giving him a rich description of the street scene he passes. She persuades her father to follow his dream of touring the world by stealing the garden gnome and having a flight attendant friend airmail pictures of it posing with landmarks from all over the world. She starts a romance between her hypochondriacal co-worker Georgette and Joseph, one of the customers in the bar. She convinces Madeline Wallace, the concierge of her block of flats, that the husband who abandoned her had sent her a final conciliary love letter just before his accidental death years. The introduction of Glassman served as a perfect reflection of Amelie's insecurities and inadequacies. A man with brittle bones who entombed himself in his apartment, Glassman forced Amelie to confront the truth about herself. Being cooped up at home for much of her childhood, she was as socially awkward as he was. 
they both derived pleasure from observing the world around them from the safety of their own protected centre amelie from her inner world and glassman from his apartment even their voyeuristic tendencies were portrayed similarly by their mutual use of spy glasses nino is the glitch in amelie's matrix of little places Amelie has the power to transform the everydayness of life into an exciting obstacle course of gestures but that power disappears during her cat and mouse search for a soulmate her scenes with nino never play out according to plan this chasm was addressed in a wonderful scene towards the end of the film a dejected amelie returns to her flat and imagine the life she's always wanted she is baking a plum cake nino buys some yeast springs back upstairs and covertly caresses the beet cottons of her kitchen but when she actually turns to look it's her cat brushing the beets an image that snaps her back to her lonesome truth her lips quiver with dash desire amelie has spent so long dreaming about her reality that she has forgotten to realize her dreams moments later nino knocks on her door Minutes later she clunges onto his vest as they barrel down the streets on his scooter. Amelie gets her happily ever after. Though Amelie introduced June to the world and showered international fame, his love for Dreamworld was as old as his first film Delicatessen. He has directed his early days with Mark Carr, and the movie plots were equally confusing, surreal and dreamy. The facial expression of the characters in his films were always dramatic, giving all a comic look. Be it in the city of lost children or in Micmax. The constant warm tone in his film is the significance of compassion and life. Amelie is the innocent kid inside us, whom the whole world sees as a weird character. We can see multiple top angle shots were taken while Amelie is talking or experiencing anything new, as if a child is talking to an adult. June has used complementary opposite color palettes in this particular film in order to fulfill the purpose of achieving and thereby incorporating an extra sense of stylized surrealism in this film. Sex has been portrayed as a funny and strange subject breaking the taboo and erotism which we generally see in Hollywood movies. Often times the director would bring the viewer into Amelie's inner world by showing her point of view through the lens of the camera. This technique perfectly captured her sense of detachment from the world around. The director used to great advantage visual effects to emphasize a point. In the scene when Nino left the cafe and seemingly out of her life, it was not enough for Amelie to appear devastated. Amelie was shown to literally dissolve into a pool of discarded water. To actually visually realize the metaphor of Amelie dissolving into a pool of water was a brilliant touch in providing us an insight into the eccentric yet intense nature of her emotions. Another great use of visual effects to actualize a metaphor was in the scene where Amelie solved the riddle of the mystery man. We were shown the fragments of his photograph fitted together in order to form a picture of his complete face. A metaphor for Amelie putting the pieces of the puzzle together. This use of VFX in a perfect way is among some of the signature works of Junet. Overall, this film shows the futility of material lust and teaches to be happy with whatever we have around us. The essence of this film lies in Amelie's union with Nim, which was gentle and subtle, signaled her entry into the world of grown-ups, a world of failures and regret, a world of opportunities 
and true love.